healthcare domain? Generally, this healthcare domain training will be taken three weeks time. So okay. wherein I'll be completing this. In addition to that, if you want project based and all, uh, that is add on. Okay, that is add on. Uh, more two weeks you can spend so that you can complete that. Okay. We require two weeks more for that. Otherwise, okay. for healthcare domain training will be for three weeks of duration, which will be for a one hour session every day. This will be for five days a week. Okay. Right, Ashok. Uh, let's get started. So as I, as I have seen, like you are from business analyst background, I hope being a business analyst, what were your responsibilities and all everything you are aware of? Yes, yes, sir. But before I'm getting into the healthcare BA, the healthcare uh, domain perspective, let us understand about what exactly a business analyst do from the healthcare point of view, because you are experienced in the professional services for a very long time, as you have stated. But if you are a business analyst, especially whenever you are working on the uh, business analyst role, especially in the healthcare segment, what were your responsibilities is what something you must be knowing first. That's what something which I'm explaining now. As far as the responsibilities of a BA, this is nothing to do with domain and technology point to be noted. Because irrespective of technology in the domain, whatever the roles and responsibilities as a BA we have to perform, either it can be understanding the business situation or it can be identifying the business problem, objectives, goals, at the same time, translating business problem into a solution from there into a documentation by preparing some business requirements, etc. So followed by this, that will be converted into a technical solution by preparing some software requirement specification with the help of technical team. Subsequently, that information will be given to the technical team. Application development will be taken place from there onwards. If we follow the traditional model, this is what generally the overall structure is all about. As far as this is what generally the difference as a BA you have to do. Again, do, do repeat, this is nothing to do with domain. Okay, as a BA, if you follow the traditional practices, you will be focusing and preparing some documents, all that. If you follow Agile and all, you will be creating some epics, user stories, etc. This is what something which you have to be good with. This is the overall understanding. Now, if you are a BA, if you want to be experienced into a business analyst from the healthcare domain, the first and foremost thing you must be knowing about the US healthcare system. So why is it your healthcare system? Why, why can't we uh, consider another systems, right? So either it can be Indian system, Indian healthcare system or something, right? So this is a common uh, question anyone will come across usually. So one should understand your healthcare system is majorly depending on the insurance segment because there is no cash and carry kind of, because if you see healthcare expenses were very high, Usually, right, healthcare expenses are very high in context to the treatment, etc. All that. So, whenever there is health, US healthcare system, if you see, US healthcare system is completely insurance based. Normally, there will be of two different insurance insurances were prevailed. So, one is about the Medicare insurance plan, and second is about the Medicaid part. So when there is any insurance is involved, for example, if there is any kind of cash transactions involved, there won't be much processes because an individual has undergone the treatment at the hospital against to the expenses and all, he has paid by cash. There won't be much involvement in any other mean. Services taken against to that, he has paid in form of cash. But when it comes to the insurance and all, this is where generally there are a lot of processes involved. Because it is, again, depending on the kind of insurance plan one must be having. At the same time, what are the different different benefits which are involved in that health insurance plan? To what extent are these are possible for a person to take as a reimbursement? This is where somewhere we need to have a deeper understanding over two things. One is about the provider. Second is a payer. 
this is where most of the healthcare uh, domain perspective understanding will be laid upon. One is about the provider part, second is a payer. Provider nothing but hospitals, clinics, all these, uh, nursing homes, etc. Pay nothing but insurance company, I can say, right? Health insurance organizations were payers. So there is a lot of requirement in context to the US healthcare system because of that. It's not only about the provider side, it's also from the payer side. Because payer nothing but an insurance company has issued an insurance policy for an individual or a group of people. Maybe some, some policies or some plans may be a standard plan, some plans may be a customized plans. But end of that, whatever the treatment has undergone by the individual and all, whether to what extent we can reimburse, this, there is a lot of procedure which is involved in it. At the same time, whatever the data we maintain, especially in the healthcare environment, everything is encrypted. That's where generally these HIPAA rules and regulations, CDI codes, right? So this is all something will be involved. So a lot of requirement from the US healthcare is more that's the reason why if you are a business analyst first of all you need to understand the u.s healthcare system and how it works and how it functions because you are a domain perspective right so you are a ba general responsibilities are known to you well in addition to that what is that you require you must be having an understanding over the u.s healthcare system so if any customer come across to you want you to develop some application or want you to develop some solution for their business problem if you have an understanding over the domain having domain knowledge, so it will be more convenient. That was the understanding, point number one. Point number two, you must be knowing about the knowledge over the two different plans. One is about the Medicare plan, second is a Medicaid, as is stated. One is a plan which is taken care of Hello? by the federal government. And one is the plan which is absolutely taken care of by the state governments, respective state governments, all across across uh, US 50 states we have. Whatever the rules and regulations followed by the kind of mandates they follow by considering the geographical location. At the same time, there are more expats comes into uh, the country, right? So for their livelihoods, etc. Right? So the those kind of plans were different. Okay? So there are two major plans. One is about the Medicare plan we have. Second is a Medicaid plan. So understanding over two different plans is also one of the key and important element as a BA you need to be good with. Why? Because as I mentioned you, depends on the situation to situation. Let's say for example, if you have given an, a better example to you, a uh, couple of years back, right? So we have affected with COVID across the world were affected. We suffered a lot. Of course, so fortunate enough, we have recovered. Now, there was no plan for COVID treatment as such earlier at the time of 2020, I mean to say, because we never heard of it. All of a sudden, it was, we have faced it and we have to come out of it. So there was no plan as such for COVID treatment, there was no code for even COVID treatment I'm talking about. After that, we have given a code number for COVID, even treatment and all. And there were some recent amendments and changes were happened. So this is for different reasons. Either it can be depends on the business rules, what that organization is having, whichever the organization is managing. That organization wants any kind of business rules to be changed into the existing one that we have to do it. Point number one. At the same time, if there is any kind of government mandates, because normally governments will issue budget every year, annual budget will be increased, will be released. In that budget, they will allocate some fund to the different, different uh, uh, sectors, right? It can be health, it can be education, right? So it can be security, right? So different, different uh, budget allocation will be done. Some part of portion will be allocated. Normally, any country, any country, whenever they release the budget, usually there are two common sectors. One is healthcare, second is education. These are two. These are two common in any country you see across the world, right? So I'm not specifying this only for US healthcare system, but yes, but any country you see two major sectors. One is about the healthcare sector, because we need to provide a quality 
care, health care treatment for the people who are residing over the country. That is one. Second, providing better education system. So for that, which leads to upbringing, upbringing of the society. So that uh, society will flourish in future, in near times. Right. So these are the two major things. So there are some changes based on the decisions which government has taken. There are some changes subsequently we have to make. This is where generally government mandates come into existence. So it's not only about the business rules which the organization has. At the same time, we must be understanding about the government mandates as well. So if you are a BA, when you are trying to understand about the business solution for a particular case, it's always important for you to understand about two different plans. One is about Medicare and Medicaid. Of course, Medicare have different plans altogether, but whereas Medicaid doesn't have it, Medicare has a different structure altogether. That is something which you must be good with. Next, we must be having a knowledge over HIPAA, HIPAA rules and regulations, I can say. But whatever the rules and regulations uh, 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 HIPAA law tells you, because this is a law which is introduced by the government to protect the health information. Everything is in encrypted format. There are some guidelines. Whoever is following, everybody has to follow the guidelines of HIPAA. This is the third point. Next, we must be knowing about the codes, because as I stated earlier, there are different different codes will be given for procedures, diagnosis, etc. At the same time, there will be some codes even codes will be given even for claims and benefits also. Because every transaction we do, especially in the field of healthcare, will be encrypted. That's where generally this ICD codes all that, right? So classification of diseases, right? So international classification of diseases, ICD codes, procedure codes. For example, if there is an X-ray was taken in the hospital or scanning was taken or pre and post surgery procedures were happened. For everything, there is a code will be allowed, will be there. But for a BA, it is not required because that is where generally required for the people who are doing medical billing, who are creating the claim forms, etc. They require that, not for a BA. But business analysts, normally we must be having a knowledge over uh, somewhere around uh, 8 to 10 codes, something relating to claims, right? So 835, 837, 271, 270, right? So there are different, different codes we have, even for claim process adjudications, claim settlements, at the same time, benefit enrollments. So we have different, different codes we have, right? So knowledge over the codes is also one of the key and important element you must be good with. Right. That is also needed because I, I again I'm repeating this is nothing to do with the procedure codes what we have because being a VA it is not relevant as far as the claims benefits there uh, uh, we require to, to identify what exactly this code and how it works so that it is more convenient for you to understand the requirements in detail. About, next point is about the claim processing and dedication. Normally, when it comes to the claim processing and all, this is how generally the claim processing works. This is what generally the life cycle of a claim happens. Either it can be 835 or 837 and all that. So how the claim processing will be taken place. And if there is any kind of changes happens in this, this is where some changes happens maybe in the clearing houses, etc., which is called scribe. So that sort of knowledge is also required. This is also one of the key and important element you must be good with, right? Claim processing, adjudication, how the claim payments and settlements will be taken place. So scrubber, scrubber nothing but, claim scrubber nothing but, clearing houses. Clearing houses ensure whatever the document was given was right or not, right? So this is where generally claim scrubber come into picture, clearing houses and all that. So understanding over the claim processing and settlement is also one of the key element because if there is any changes happens in the claim processing, normally it won't, normally it won't. But if there is any change depends on the configuration. Let's say organization is using old legacy system. Now they are moving towards some face its application or some QNX all that. Because nowadays organizations uses different applications for claim processing like face its QNext, health edge, right? So there are a lot of applications in real world, they use it. So there are some changes might require. So that sort of understanding, so the claim processing and adjudication is always needed for you as a healthcare business analyst. Not applications, because applications were completely 
uh, licensed applications, this access won't be there. Okay, we don't have that access, but claim process education that understanding is required. That's what something you must be good with. Next. Next point about knowledge over the migration process, because now and then if you see most of the projects for migration projects, most, I don't say 100%, most of that. For example, organization is using old application for building claims and all that for patient management. Now they are moving towards new application, either it can be phase it's or QNIXT and all. This is where generally understanding over the migration process. Migration means you are migrating the data from old legacy systems to the new application. That migration process understanding is required because there are different file formats we use now and then. We use some XML, JSON file formats, etc. So understanding over the migration process is also one of the key and important element you must be good with. So knowledge over the migration process is also needed. Next, if there is any kind of enhancements happens in the applications, because as in when I stated, there will be two kinds of projects. One customer may expect you to develop an application from the scratch. This is point number one. Point number two, sometimes customer has an existing application. They want to transform from old legacy applications to the new application. So there are two different scenarios. Some scenarios comes from the application from the scratch to be built with. Some applications were completely Migration based. Migration means old data you are transforming to the new application by understanding the staging database, by creating the staging database. This is all something which are comes under this point of view, this point, right? So enhancements part. So understanding the structure of the migration process now and then required for a BA because you will not be doing the data migration part, but when, when we are doing the data migration or when we are working on the migration projects, what kind of requirements to be identified? What kind of requirements should be understandable? And how this can be taken forward is what something being a BA you must be good with. So these are the knowledges which if you are a BA, especially working on the healthcare environment, which you must be good with. Is it clear to you, Ashok? Yes, Raj. So this is all about this, right? So this is what something you will be learning. For that regard, you will be learning about the use healthcare system as I stated you. I think uh, hope I have given the information to uh, the respective person, right? So you can go through that. So this is what something which I'm going to explain you from the domain perspective, how healthcare system, right? So what are the different plans to be had and how these plans will work, right? So how these codes are being used when they are managing the procedures, transactions, claims, etc. So at the same time, knowledge over the data migration, at the same time, care and case management, because care management for the healthcare, uh, providing care management services for the patients is also an ultimate importance. At the same time, case management, right? So this sort of knowledge is always required. So, dom so domain having knowledge, having a domain, uh, domain knowledge is one, one segment if you are a BA. Having some exposure as hands-on doing some live project or something of that sort, that is second. Because there, there are there is no mix of these two, right? So first knowledge over the, unless until if you don't have the knowledge over the domain, it is difficult for a person to understand about the case or a project or a problem. Subsequently, how we do the transact, how do we do the documents, right? So how do we write use the stories, use cases? That is different. If you want to know that, first of all, you need to have some exposure. I don't say experience, Ashok. Unless until we don't work for industry, we don't get experience. But exposure, I can I can tell you the word called exposure. If you want to have that exposure, first you need to have the domain knowledge first. If you are imparting some domain knowledge in yours, then uh, you can work on the project. Okay, I'll give you the case study will be provided. So where in the on that case study you have to work. So that is different. This is. Different. So this is what domain training meant for, which will be for three weeks. And two weeks will be add-on, which if you want some live exposure for the project, addition. Otherwise, we can go I, 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 I want both. Yeah, that's what I'm just giving you the clarity. Okay. Okay. So this is for one hour session every day, which as I stated, this is the time which the timing schedule will be on. So this okay. will be for one weekly five days, it will be and five weeks, three plus two, right. three weeks. Every will be the same time. Just two weeks for that. Sorry. So what would be the timings? The same time. 
Uh, this card, yeah, this time is more preferable now for me because this uh, this lot I can give it to you. Okay, okay. In this lot that you can attend. It's not an issue. Which time zone you belongs to? India only. Acha, you belongs here. Okay. Fine. Yes, I mean uh, I was in the UK for last four years. Now I moved to uh, India earlier. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are in UK earlier. Yes, I was in UK. Okay. Okay. This is in UK. Okay. Okay then, right, Ashok. You can speak okay. to those concerned people. Okay, we'll start recording. Okay, Ras. Thank you. Thanks for anything you'd like to know about. Uh, that's all. Okay, Ashok. See you. Bye. Right. Thank you.